is still steamy hot from having come through the Earth's atmosphere. The outer scan of the shuttle heated up to a temperature well above 600 degrees. The shuttle has been gone for 12 days, and while it was away, it accomplished a lot. The most important event for NASA was delivering David Wolf to Mir and picking up Mike Fole for the trip home. Fole's four-and-a-half-month stay was filled with troubles, which we've talked about, most notably that wreck in space, which caused a leak in the Spectre module, which U.S. astronauts have used as a lab and a living space for some time. During the trip, the Atlantis crew unloaded tons of supplies for Mir, including a new main computer. The old Mir computer was failing regularly, leaving the space station without guidance and power. The new one has been working perfectly since it was installed last week. Also during the trip, the shuttle took pictures of Mir, which helped find the leak in Spectre. Commander Anatoly Solovia pumped air into Spectre as the shuttle hovered about 240 feet away. As he did this, some debris drifted into space from the area where Spectre's damaged solar array connects with the station. As you look at these pictures and compare them with pictures of previous shuttle launches that we have reported for you, you'll, you're probably saying to yourself, as I am, my goodness, it looks a lot more cloudy there than it normally does on days when NASA allows the shuttle to land. On center line, surface winds 0807 gust 15. I think on that's the, the truth, <clears throat> just based on my observation of uh, 20 or 30 shuttle landings over the past uh, five or six years. Communicator Scott Horowitz says Commander Jim Weatherby continues to steer Atlantis towards runway 15. Shuttle now lined up for a touchdown. Shuttle is landing from north to south. Altitude now 3,500 feet. At about 2,000 feet, the pre flare maneuver will be performed. The voice that you're hearing is NASA commentator Ed Campion watching this with uh, the rest of us. He is in Houston. Pre-flare maneuver being performed. Landing gear coming down. Confirmation gear is down and locked. You can see the center line of the runway just between those wheels on the shuttle. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Deployment of the drag chute. Atlantis now rolling out on runway 15 at KSC, ending an 11 day, 4.2 million mile journey to deliver astronaut David Wolf to the Mir space station and bring astronaut Michael Fole home after 145 days in space. What we'll do is we'll listen as the shuttle rolls to a stop. I can tell you a little bit more about what it did until we'll stop, and then we'll hear. Um, Commander Jim Weatherby. Imagine what it must feel like for Michael Fole, a man who has weighed virtually nothing for the past four months and three weeks. Atlantis, you can ignore the water spray boiler message. That was a warning in the cockpit. Roger. Commander Jim Weatherby uh, saying uh, he knows to ignore that warning. But Mike Fole now weighs his full weight for the first time in a long, long time. His wife, Rhonda, his two children, some pizza and beer awaiting him at the astronaut crew quarters down in Florida. Atlantis now rolling to a stop, and there'll be a little back and forth between ground managers and the shuttle as soon as it stops. Wheel stop, Houston. Copy wheel stop, Atlantis. Welcome home, excellent job. Nice crosswind landing. We have no deltas. We're with you on page 5-3. No deltas is NASA's speak for everything on the computer consoles in Houston. Um, looking good. No problems, no red lights. Everything continues to be uh, safe and copacetic. You can see how quickly the NASA ground crews respond to a uh, landed shuttle. There's a machine out there that uh, Atlantis, will... Atlantis, uh, we'd like you to do ammonia activation on 5-8. Ammonia... Bravo, Pry GPC. What they're doing is blowing out the pipes on the various rockets and thrusters hey, of the Bravo, shuttle. Bravo, Pry GPC. And you can hear the crew um, talking about that. At any rate, uh, as the shuttle has pulled in for a landing on the uh, south pointing runway at the Kennedy Space Center, it's traveled 4,225,000 miles. Beautiful landing. We will watch with much interest to see how Mike Fole readapts to life on planet Earth.
That concludes our coverage of the landing of Shuttle Atlantis after 11 days in space and a very important mission, including a docking with Russia's Mir space station. John Holloman, CNN reporting. This has been a CNN Live event.